What's up guys and welcome back to the Mario Magic Pack on Minecraft Wii U Edition. In the last episode, we did ventured our first little area here. We decided to choose a snow area. Of course, there's no right or wrong way to explore this world. So I think that eventually we will go back and start from the beginning again. Cause you know, there's different paths and I've been looking through it of course to see you know like which path we want to take next. And I think I know what we want to do. But for right now, let's go on down here. Oh my, okay then. And let's see what's going on here. Looks like we have a little underground area here and then, whoa, oh boy, that wasn't enough. Okay, game, okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, then it's gonna launch me up just like that, so I better be ready. Oh no, huh, that didn't quite work. Let's try this one more time. Boom, ah, oh, I can't get up there. Weird. All right, we got our way to the top of the pipe and look at this, it's snowing, it's beautiful out here. Oh my, it's really cool to see. All the wonderful stuff, <laughs> it is just so fitting. All right then, so let's go on this way and see what else we can find. Ah, oh, this is awesome, I love it. So this is basically the other way we could have gone through here. And it looks like there's some stuff off this way. I think this will actually lead us to another world that we don't want to travel to just yet, because there's still a bunch of stuff way at the beginning we still want to see other worlds there. So before you know we go off, oh my, wait, there's still one more castle. Let's check, <laughs> look at this frozen piranha plant over there, that's silly, oh my. This is crazy. Okay, then let's go and check out this big old castle. Is this Princess Peach's castle? I'm not sure. Oh no, this is a ghost house. Uh oh, I'm spooked, guys. I'm really spooked. Um, oh my. Uh, oh geez, it's a maze. Oh, it is a maze. Um, oh no, we gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I made it. I made it. Oh, and what is inside of those? Just a bunch of arrows. Okay, very perilous. Um, all right, what's going on in here? An arrow, a clock, and diamond horse armor. Very cool. We're gonna go ahead and you know slip the arrow. We'll, we don't have any bows and arrows yet, so right now we're gonna get that. We'll get our axe over here just in case we need it. But I think you know most importantly, if we have that clock, we'll be able to see what time it is at any point in the day. All right, some oddly relaxing music for what is a very intense, scary area. <laughs> All right, what is this here? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, then that seems to be it for the maze. What's on this side more? Perilous bows and arrows, yep. Okay, whoa. <laughs> All right, uh-oh, I'm hearing monsters. Did it spawn in monsters? No, it didn't, okay, that would've been really scary. Okay, let's get out of here before we do run into some monsters. Oh boy, that was really cool. So that would be another level done right there, and very awesome. Hmm, does that pipe lead off to anything? Doesn't look like it, but it's always good to check it out. Make sure that you're seeing everything properly. All right, then, what's going on over here? It looks like we got ourselves a little cannon. Ooh, that's very cool. Let's go up here. I don't think we can travel with this thing, but typically this is how you would shortcut from one world to the next, but this is a really cool build. I like it. I don't think the cannon exactly works here. Not looking like it, okay. <laughs> All right then, so, I know, look at these guys. I think they're ghosts. I'm not really sure. This is such a nice little song for this. Actually, we're getting really hungry, so why don't we go ahead and eat this cake up? Delicious, delicious, thank you previous worlds, whoa, that we got that from. All right then. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. I'm having so much fun with this. This is really cool. So it looks like this might be, ow, our path to a different world. Let's try to find out. Ooh, ooh, and then ooh, there you go. Oh my, it looks like it. So I think this is where we're going to go back to the very beginning. Oh my, what is down there? Oh, just, just a cave, just a normal cave. <laughs> All right, yeah, hi doggy. Yep, it looks like this is where we travel to a brand new world. I believe this looks like it's gonna be a swamp area, or at least I'm led to believe that because, of course, of the um, rain that I'm starting to hear. Not only that, but uh, that's usually where PD Piranha is, or some type of tropical. Yep, and I was right. So we will eventually explore this. I promise you that. You got a Zebra Gamer guarantee on that. But for right now, we have to travel back to the main area. For whatever reason, it just won't stop raining, but Hello Mario, how you doing? I hope your cap is keeping you nice and dry. So now that we've gotten that all figured out, why don't we move our way over this way? Yeah, we went down that way in the first episode. Let's go down this way here and see what it leads us to. There's just so much to explore that I think this might actually be like a 10 episode series. I hope that gets people excited. I don't know, let's see, and yeah, let's go ahead and explore this as much as we can. And it looks like this is a cool little area we got going on here. I just don't know what to explore first, oh my. I almost fell down a little hole here. Oh, this is probably like the little starting area. <laughs> All right then, cool. Oh, and this is like a village. I wonder, would this be like a toad village? Oh, let's see if we can't find villagers. Hello, little villagers, anybody home? I guess not, oh my, this is a ghost town. Spooky. 
<laughs> All right, is there any in here? Whoa, there's just some crazy stuff. A red coin, a giant pipe, another little mushroom there. Hmm, there's nobody who living here. It's a little saddening. It's a nice town. I'm sure they could use some occupants. Oh my, no, 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 I'm running. Scared Zebra, scared Zebra, okay. Are they still chasing me? Okay, they are, and they can still chase me because it's in the rain. Okay, well, I have the power of the star on my hands now. Let's go, whoa, okay, okay, okay. So there's nothing really over here. Are they still chasing me down, Mr. Pig? Oh, uh, you're like a little moo-moo cow, aren't you? No, you're, I guess you're supposed to be a pig. I don't know. <laughs> um, Let's try to jump across to here. Let's see if we can't get up here. Uh, not really, it looks like it's just for display. All right then, that sort of, oh no, whoa. Well, where are we falling to? This is really scary. Why is there just a well of doom down here? <laughs> what is with that game? All right, let's get out of here before the monsters attack us. Everything is out to get us right now. Hmm, so yeah, let's go back this way. Because actually, we could actually, yeah, do we need to cook wheat into bread or can we just craft it? Because if we can just craft it, I want to take some of this right now. <laughs> this looks so cool, the little seeds and the wheat and everything. So let's go ahead and take as much as I can. And I'm going to turn this into bread. Well, I don't currently have a crafting table, but once I do, I'm going to turn that into bread. So let's go down here. This looks like the best way to go. Ooh, it's all muddy down here. Look at that chain shop. This makes this reminds me of Super Mario World, which is so cool. It'd be cool if each area sort of like has its own style of game. I don't know, because the little big planet area was like, you know, it was like a type of, you know, world in each one, depending on which little big planet game, you know? There was the savannas, there was the tundra, that kind of stuff. Look at this dude. There was Bunkum, you get the idea. But here, it seems to be a little different. It seems to be like, sort of like the environment. It's sort of weird, but here's another one. Oh, that's so cool, the green one, that has a metal cap in it. All right, very cool, that's how Mario becomes Metal Mario Super Mario 64. And that's the red cap, that's the flying one. What if there's still a flying cap in there? That could be really helpful right now. But look at Princess Peach. She's gigantic. She's bigger than Mario, but uh oh. We got King Bomb. I mean, this is actually his song. This is a song that plays on his level, so pretty cool. Pretty darn fitting. All right, let's get across to here. Ooh, very good. All right, King Bomb, -Bom, you want to fight with me? Huh? You want to fight with the zebra? It'll be the biggest regret you ever had, even though I'm dying of hunger. All right, I can hide under him. You know, protection from the rain. Wow, okay, there's a lot around here, but still no, still no darn stuff for me to use. Uh, no crafting tables. Oh, and this is like a jungle. What is Mario doing way out here? Is he just chilling out? Looks like it. Uh, I don't wanna go down there because then there's no way to get back up, so. Still, oh, look at the little fish out there. Very cool, was that Yoshi? Oh, there's Yoshi. Oh, that is so awesome. Well, we explored everything we could there, we could go down, oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? That is Peach's castle. We thought we found it in the, you know, the earlier in this episode. No, we did not. That is, oh my gosh, it's a whole recreation of Mario 64. That is so cool. We'll go and check that out in just a moment. We gotta say hi to Princess Peach over here. Hello, Princess, how are you doing? It looks like, the, you know, this area ends here. That is so cool. Very awesome. Hello, Princess, how are you doing? And is there anything? I still need to find myself, a, you know, like a little uh, crafting table, a little question block if I want to be able to, uh, you know, get our way with this bread. But for right now, I'm just fresh out of luck. And that's where we were before. This sort of is like Delfino Plaza, which is so cool. I'm loving this so darn much. So it sort of feels like it is like per game. This is Super Mario 64 area. Behind me is like a sunshine area. All right, cool. I don't know what the ice area would be, maybe like a new Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World, even though there weren't too many ice areas in Super Mario World, but when it rains, it pours. There is just so much rain right now, and I didn't. I don't think there's a way to turn it off, so for right now, we're gonna go ahead, up, up, and go on through. Oh my, ooh, right into the water. All right, so I'm not really running out of too much health at this point, which is good. Hello, going on through, okay. All right, <laughs> and then plop. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and check all this out. It is just like Super Mario 64. That is so cool. Look at this, and is there gonna be secrets in the in the little water here like they had in the original game? That'd be so cool. I don't know, there's so much we gotta explore and check out here. So here is the entrance to her castle. It looks a lot smaller here in Minecraft. Is there the cannon? Oh, there is the cannon that you're only allowed in when you have all 120 stars and it launches you to the top of here to find Yoshi. Oh, I am so curious. Is Yoshi up there? Oh, hopefully we can see. Maybe we could find out. Yeah, let's go through this way. 
Oh, look at that, there's even a little staircase to the water if you do so hop in. Huh, maybe we'll have to go and explore that. Check out if there's a Yoshi at the top of there. Now, is there anything in the water, though? Is there any secrets to be found in here? And before we make our way into the castle itself, we need to explore the exterior and see what we can find. But I hope you guys are enjoying the mashup pack as much as I am. If you've gotten it yourself, how are you enjoying it? And how are you enjoying Minecraft Wii U? It is still pretty new, so it's cool to see that they're having their own exclusive mashup pack. So yeah. And it doesn't appear that there's too much over here. So we'll go ahead, go back to the beach, and see, you know, how we can make our way into the castle. All right, princess, I'm coming to save you. Bowser has captured you and whoa. It is so similar. That is awesome. And is there actually rooms in here? We gotta check this out, guys. We have to check this out. Boop. Whoa. And there it is, the opening to the first Mario World. Basically what we just explored, the first Super Mario World level. That's King bomb -Bom's area. And very cool. I'm gonna leave all these doors open. You know, so we know which one we found and which one. Oh, oh, that one doesn't have anything. This one doesn't either. I can understand, it's not like a full one-to-one, -one, but it's still really cool, really well detailed. Hmm, like a really cool sense of scale. Nope, there's not any in there. We gotta make sure we explore every door, guys. See what we can find and what we shall not. All right, open this up. Oh, we can't open this. Oh, I see, you fooled me. <laughs> All right, then, I'll hold on to that so I'm not spoiling myself. It looks like this. Oh, it's a secret. And we get ourselves another music block. Okay, this one is Ward, so this is a new one. Very cool. Is there anything else around here? Little signs? Ah, cool. All right, then. Then what's going on over here? Is this? No, this is another sign. All right, then it looks like we've found everything you can find in Peach's Castle. Is there anything like up here? No, there's not, okay. I'm just breaking things when I need to. And of course, you can always look up at the sun in the full game to give you teleported to a new area. Well, that doesn't work yet. All right, then maybe we'll try flying up there. I don't know. Yeah, we'll try turning on fly mode and seeing if Yoshi's up there, but I don't think he will be. All right, Yoshi buddy, you up here? Uh, did I get any prize for, you know, saving the princess, getting on the stars? Doesn't look like it, but it was definitely worth checking. You can see there's like a whole jungle area we'll be having a chance to explore at some point, but I think that's about it for the Mario 64 styled area. We have found everything, we have found Peach's Castle, and we have done a bunch of awesome stuff. That is very cool, so I think that in the next episode of, of course, the Mario Mashup Pack for the Minecraft Wii U Edition, we'll continue exploring stuff. Let me know which area you want me to travel to next, and I'll definitely consider it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Peach, so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra tastic viewer but either way thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye